League Two's most informed teams meet at Prenton Park for the first time in the EFL. Sitting side by side in the table, Tramir in fifth and Forest Green in sixth. Both will still believe automatic promotion is possible. Tranmere have won more home matches than any other team in the division this season, while Forest Green have won three away games on the spin. Forest Green won the reverse fixture 3-1. That was back in October. And it is the home team pressing in the early stages. Yogo with the throw. Back to him by Jennings and then back to Jennings again. Trying to keep hold of it. Thanks to Morris. And then fizzed just across goal by Jennings. Lovely first touch, just took it into the place he wanted it. Banks decides to go down the line. Jennings gets it back. Wonderful link-up play from Tranmere once more. Caprice. Back in it goes. Oh, it's fumbled and Jennings is denied again. He's getting closer. Montgomery really not covering himself in glory there. Chance here for Mills to get forward. That's a barnstorming run. And I think his effort in the end is deflected over. Hands on head time for Joseph Mills. Fantastic burst forward. Winchester. Gets it back from Shepard. Forward it goes to Mondal. Brown switches the play nicely. Mills can't find Grubb, but he will find Mondal. How about that for a finish? Junior Mondal, his second goal for Forest Green Rovers since his January move from Middlesbrough, breaks the deadlock, and the away team have the lead. Junior Mondal, well, the cross wasn't meant for him. But when it came to him on the edge of the area, he found the top corner beautifully. And for those fans, the trip has been worth it. Pringle. Caprice. Coming back. And now they go forward. Now, is the referee going to give the free kick there for the challenge by Shepard? No. And Shepard has the ball, gives it to Winchester. He switches the play really nicely to Mills, who then gives it away. Tranmere have won nine of their last 12 league games. They're great at home, expect them to make a charge. And there's a half chance, shall we say, for the top scorer, James Norwood. Scorer can't control it. Mont is the man who had it, and then Harris to Jennings. Wide it goes to Caprice. And again, it's lovely football from Tranmere. One touch stuff into the middle. Can we get the finish? No. Saved by Montgomery, still alive. And Jay Harris into the side netting. It was wonderful play from Tranmere. And Mullen with the overhead. And it's tipped away. 
And then into the side netting. Still Tranmere press. Bakayogo forward from fullback. Harris takes it on! And Montgomery, I don't think, was sure, flying across to his left hand side after Jay Harris unleashed this one from distance. Caught it well, always drifting wide. Caprice. Tramer doing really well to win it back. They're working so hard. And here goes the imposing figure of Bakayogo forward. He's given it to Mullin, the substitute just onto the roof of the net from Paul Mullin. He took it on himself. Mullin, the overlapping run from Bakayogo helped him out. Morris's corner. Anywhere will do for Forest Green at the moment. They're holding on. They just can't get out. It's a white wave coming back at them. Morris again taking on the goal scorer. Mondal. It's going to drop here to Jennings. Well, they're having their chances, Tranmere Rovers. Connor Jennings again. It's desperate stuff at the back from Forest Green, but they're clinging on to their one goal lead. And if this result stays this way, the two teams will stay in the same positions in the table, but Forest Green will close to within one point of Tranmere. A wrestling match there, Rawson and then Norwood also slamming into his man the ball has ended up in the back of the net and the referee has already blown his whistle for a free kick Paul Mullin over the wall and off the post still alive Harris back into the middle Montgomery claims it well you get the feeling it might just not be Tranmere's day. What a wonderful free kick from Mullin off the outside of the post. Goalkeeper beaten all ends up. Banks forward. Headed away by Rawson. Morris. Norwood's oh, layoff is uh, a little bit of right. The home team who still have the ball and are looking to surge forward once more. Find this equaliser if they can. Oh, another effort that goes just wide. Morris with it. Green, perhaps a chance here to cause some trouble of their own at the other end of the pitch. Brown twisting and turning and laying it off to Shepard. Brown, oh, he's wriggled his way through. Reese Brown, great block. Well, I'm not entirely sure Reese Brown knew what he was doing there but he somehow got through Forest Green just looking to kill time Mont will run away with it though well, you've got to work really hard to be able to stop Manny Mont and they've not been able to and down the other end just wide again it's Mullin again and he has a look on his face that says it all Forest Green Rovers 
and Mark Cooper make it four successive away wins for the first time since they've been in the EFL. They stay sixth but move to within one point of their opponents in the table. Both teams do look certainties for the playoffs. They may well meet again. And we may remember these final scenes, but it is a blow to Tranmere's hopes of automatic promotion. Full-time Tranmere Rovers nil, Forest Green Rovers 1.